Okay. So it's late again. I'm really jet lagged. I should be asleep right now. I'm ready to go to bed, which is why I look like this. I wanted to put my glasses on, but you know, look what happens. It's even scarier. I got back from my trip to LA, which was the bomb. I had a great time. I had a great birthday. Good for me. I want to show you something. This is me standing on Ryan Seacrest's star. You can't see it, but I'm actually giving him the finger. Because why he has a star before me is just... Doesn't make any sense. A thought came up while I was in LA. Of course you know medicinal marijuana is legal there. I saw a bunch of dispensaries, which I thought was hilarious. And then today at work, for about two hours, I watched anti-drug ads on YouTube. But the ones that really kind of stuck out were the anti-marijuana ones. I don't really see a point in anti-pot ads. But like the thing that's really weird, the stupid YouTube comments I see, where everybody's like a huge advocate of marijuana. It does not make you a better person than me if you smoke pot every fucking day. I enjoy my life as it is and I enjoy the occasional spliff but it's not a huge deal and it's really not something that you should advertise. Username on YouTube is like 420 is the best or hashman 01. I don't know. I don't even know if those exist. I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass right now. See, there's two sides of the coin for this. For me, anyway. I'm not somebody that is going to demonize weed. You know that one pot ad? This one is just, it blows my mind. Where the girl is like on her phone. Oh, hey girl. What's up, girl? And my god, I don't remember doing that. I was so high. And then she gets like a picture message. What could she possibly have been doing? Sitting on a couch all night? Playing some Super Mario Galaxy on weed? But here's the other side of it. There are people in this world that do smoke pot every day. And I mean every second of every day. I have to ask, why? Because as much as you want to drive away from the fact that you're just doing it because it's fun, you're still kind of escaping from reality. What is it that you don't like about sober life that you feel the need to alter it? Why does sober life need to be enhanced? And this obviously does not apply for people that need it for legit medicinal purposes. That's something that I'd want to ask somebody that smokes all the time. I have and they just never have an answer for me. It's fucking gotta smoke. That's not good enough for me. I'm sorry, it's not. I just think the whole marijuana issue is something that can't be controlled by the propaganda. It's something that people have to look at in their own lives. What is it that makes you want to do it all the time? And I'm not talking about people that like occasionally do it. I just think that there's this weird like marijuana elitism out now. Like you just gotta smoke all day every day. And somehow you're up on a throne if you do. It's just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And I guess I'm just a little bit worried and a little bit bummed that people are just doing it all the time and not giving me a good enough reason as to why. Sure you have the right, but what? Seems like there's a mental block there for some people. I'm just guessing. I'm just speculating. That's what I do. But maybe if you see some anti-pot ads or any kind of anti-drug ad on YouTube, you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll be like, okay, scratching your head just like me. What we need to focus on is stopping meth. It's not really a big issue in New Jersey. I guess it's for like rural areas, not exclusively. People are bored, you know, what the fuck else are you gonna do? Harvest some crops? That's a drug that needs to be stopped right now. Whatever, guys. That's just something I had to say. It was the whole combination of seeing dispensaries and then watching anti-drug ads. <laughs> Okay, to recap, stop the marijuana elitism, stop the anti-pot ads, abolish meth, and Ryan Seacrest sucks. Good night, bitches.